fine mud. You know, these small departments often can't count on funding for that equipment, and the drought means the next wildfire might be just around the corner. So, KMAX Claudia Puente is here tonight to show us how West Carlisle firefighters are putting their mechanic skills to good use. The West Carlisle Fire Department is currently building its own water tanker truck, thanks to a grant of $100,000 from the Texas Fire Service Grant Program. They purchased a frame for the truck, and it turns out this isn't the first truck these firefighters have built. Our first one we built was in 1993, and uh, we bought a chassis, found an old tank, and put it on there. Since that time, we've really refined how we do things and put out a really decent fire truck. Over 300 hours of labor so far to build a grass fire truck that will hold 1,300 gallons of water. These guys have actually extended the bed this far. They have rebuilt all of this, a gate, the headache rack, all that will we'll stand and fight fire. West Carlisle Fire Chief Tim Smith and Firefighter Kevin Henrick have built one of these before. In fact, over the past 30 years, the crew have helped build 10 fire trucks making this one number 11. This one was an older one of our uh, we retired vehicles. As they get a little older, they don't have many miles on them, but they have a lot of hours. And so the maintenance starts creeping up. The maintenance costs start creeping up. So we find one that uh, try to roll those out and replace those as needed. Not only are these firemen battling flames and maintenance, but they're working against a limited budget from the county. We would love to just call up the manufacturer and put an order in, but the funds just doesn't allow it. You know, the Lubbock County Commissioners have done an amazing job in the last two to three years in helping increase our funding and get us to where we need to be to get our guys equipment and the, and the tools to do their job and to get them home after every call. We're trying to do our part. And the firefighters taught themselves how to build them. So the hardest part is the time that it takes the time that it takes away from our families to come up here and work on it, you know, not to mention still responding to calls. But they say it's all rewarding in the end. Honestly, to me, it's seeing it leave the station for the first time, you know, seeing the guys get in and drive it. That's really when everybody appreciates the work that went into it as whenever it's ready to go on that first call. And the process hasn't been easy, taking about five years just to get a grant from the Texas Forest Service program. And they're hoping to finish building the tanker in February.